Well, we're here again. I'm Miss Shay. I'm Miss Charlene. And we're here to do another summer reading program for you guys. Um, we hope you're enjoying your summer. We are. You know, things have been a little different, but we're getting it. So today, we're going to start off with a nice movement before we get into our craft and our theme. We're going to talk about nursery rhymes and um, read some books and do some stories and all that fun stuff. So everybody, get on up and we're going to start off with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Ready, Miss Shirley? Yes, I am. All right. Head, shoulders, shoulders knees, knees, and toes, knees, knees and toes. toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job, guys. I hope that gets your little energies moving. So now we're going to move over and we're going to do some flannel board nursery rhymes. Alrighty, guys, let's do some flannel boards. We're going to do hickory dickory dock. The mouse rang up the clock. The clock struck one. Ding! The mouse rang down. Hickory dickory dot. All right. Okay, the second one we're gonna do is hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Good job, guys. All right, guys, since our theme is nursery rhymes this week, we're gonna read a book of nursery rhymes. So the first one we're gonna read is, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. What does that mean? Think about it. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty mates all in a row. That's silly. Cockle shells, that's like shells you would find on the beach. You don't find that in the garden, really, do you? No, but it's fun to think about. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, that's a chair, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. These are so silly, huh? So silly. We did this one on the flannel board. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. We're just going to read a couple of my faves. Oh, this is a good one because it's a counting song and I bet you guys know it. So if you do, join in. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight. Lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. That's a rhyming one, isn't it? Counting and rhyming, two of my favorite things. Oh, you ready? Oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. That poor puppy, he was hungry. He didn't have any bones. Now we'll do this one. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Did you guys like those nursery rhymes? What are your favorites? Because I have so many, I just don't know. There's so many good ones, and you can get a book like this from the library, and we have a ton of other nursery rhyme books. So anytime you need something, you let us know and we can certainly help you out. The book that I'm going to read is Ba Ba Black Sheep. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One, two, three. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lived down the land. Bye, bye, pink sheep. Have you any wool? No, sir. No, sir. None at all. None for the master and none for the dean. None for the little boy who shivers down the lane. The end. All right, guys. So today we're going to make a sheep to go with our story, Baba Black Sheep. So you're going to have your cotton balls, your glue, and your Google Eyes. So the first thing, I think the easiest thing to do would be to color our sheep, the face and the ears and the legs first. Let's do that. Let's see. I'm going to do pink. Pink ears, because I think sheep might have pink ears. So the next thing we're going to do is put glue all over your sheep. And it doesn't have to be perfect at all, just put you a bunch of glue. Make sure you have a lot of glue on there. Lots of glue because we're going to need it. So after you do that, you're going to take your cotton balls and you're going to spread them out. See how I'm pulling it apart? Just spread it out. And then stick it on down. Look at Miss Charlene's, it's going so good. Just make it nice and puffy and poofy. Cause I think that's what a sheep feels like. Oh, let me give him some little hair on his head. Oh yes, some good little hairs. Here, then we'll do this part. Oh, don't forget his tail. Gotta have some on his fuzzy little tail. And I have one more to put on the top. Alrighty. Now, what do we do next? What is he missing? His eyes. We got to put him some eyes. So you want to put a little glue and then take your Google eyes and put them on there. And look. He's so cute. His little Google eyes shake. So cute. I hope you had fun making your little sheep with us. We had a good time doing it too. I hope you guys stay active and stay reading and stay safe. Um, don't forget to pick up your craft bags every week. And if you need any books, please call us and let us know. And we would be more than happy to help you. See, See y'all soon. Time.